handled in that last game. He got handled. He got handled game five. It, it just the game. Handled, Chuck. <laughs> oh yeah, it was uh it was like three socks for Sonics, and Sonics was at like twenty or thirty, and Spargo was spawning in on the last dog. It was let's just say Sonics hit the edge. And by the way, it was game four. It was game four. Spargo won game one, that was it. Don't disrespect my man Sonics like that. Let's oh, wait, go. was it 3 1? I thought it was game five. I said what I said, man. Look it up, baby. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm keeping it real. Here we go, though. Game Rick. number one of this set, though. It's going to be a good one. Banger set incoming, chat. You know the vibe. Spargo taking on Ouch. Oh, my goodness. And maybe doing a little too much with that dare. Spargo really making a few uncharacteristic uh, mistakes that are not helping him out. I mean, if you're Ouch, you'll take that straight to the bank, though. Oh, easily, bro. We got no complaints about that. Ouch was like, do it again. I dare you. And I mean, that's the one thing about this matchup. Wolf is a character, even whether it be down tilt or forward tilt. If you're able to get those two frames, it's going to be really troublesome Definitely. for Cloud. We saw that against uh, Now's Cloud, because Now went Cloud game one he against uh, Ouch. So Ouch looking like very familiar with this matchup, because not only is it up against Now's Cloud, still performing really well against the best Cloud in the world. There it is, man. Free stock that Ouch is not letting go to waste. Okay, nice. Spargo finding the fair. Backer is definitely going to be on Spargo's hit list to connect. Ooh, just coming up a little bit short in the range on that laser. Blaster to the face. I'm saying. Okay, off stage is out. going to be aggressive with that double jump. Going to go ahead and roll through that back air pressure. Spargo needs to make more of the situation, but ouch, weaving his way in. Spargo finally getting a connection, but the wolf flash. He's going to get picked up with the grab here. Ouch taking a good amount of damage. Has not touched ground for quite a bit of time. Oh but the dash Lord. attack going to force the limit out. The blaster for sure forcing it out. The down tilt almost connecting on that. That follow up with the dash attack from Ouch was absolutely insane, bro. Like just full on committed to hitting his mark. And now he's got a very comfortable lead that up there. Yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it. Nice. And Spargo once again, man, finding himself back to the wall. Yeah, if you're Ouch, I wouldn't slow things down. You don't you want Spargo to uh, get, you know, start adapting. So Ouch needs to really take this momentum and run with it, but Spargo getting a connection here, tries to get the Wolf out the forward smash, though, almost getting the KO there. 86% Spargo is fighting back. He is absolutely taking the fight to Ouch, understanding like, okay, I'm at a deficit here, but far from impossible. Again, a big time down there, not gonna SD off of that one this time. Oh no, but let him kind of get back for free, Charles. But the Ooh. up smash, Want to put that to rest? Is there still an opportunity? Oh, absolutely. Fifty percent. That is nothing. That is uh, that's two cross lashes. There man. it is. We'll Got see them. if Ouch tries to line it up here. The spot dodge, getting through that dash attack. Great spacing coming out from Spargo here. Okay, Nair into grab. Grab release. No, just going for the forward throw here. Gets the backer. That's the double jump. There's the air dodge. Uses the blaster. Is gonna force, but the misses the down air. You could have just got the Nair. That probably would have been it. My. Might live to regret that one if oh, you're out, man. man. Yeah, Might this live is, to regret uh, that one because now Spargo's thinking, oh, free second chance opportunity. Well, let me just go ahead and not let it go to waste oh. with the back air. Spargo tried to put some of his out, but Ouch had the more powerful one and well-placed one at the time. Yeah, yeah, and that was that was really scary. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, in that situation, it's I would actually give it in favor of Cloud if both characters just have a certain amount of stage control because in a straight hit game, Cloud wins, right? And getting the straight hit as Wolf is a little bit harder because you're committing your hurt boxes with your hit boxes, whereas obviously Cloud has that very large sword to assist them with those uh, some of those neutral pokes, Big right? Time. So, uh, really incredible stuff coming out from Ouch, finding that back here to seal the deal because he bought that one edge guard to the right with the limit, right? So, Ouch getting himself on the board here, but didn't start off game number one with a very fortunate edge guard, right? No, not at all. I mean. And I, and I doubt Spargo's going to give up another free stock like that. So it's definitely going to be a little yes. bit more of an uphill battle for Ouch in this one. But you know, nonetheless, getting that first game so pivotal. Let's see if he can ride some of that momentum into a second. I love how Ouch is willing to meet Spargo at this short hop and full hop distance. Uh, you see Ouch kind of throwing out some of these full hop fares. You, you only do that when you're calling out some of these uh, full hops or short hops. Yeah. And that's the main thing about Cloud. You see, Cloud usually wants to come down with falling aerials, right? So you want to stop him from, you essentially don't want him to get the position to set up for that. Oh, nice spot dodge in the cross slash. Okay, tries to go for that forward tilt. Nice, just batting him down though. In there. Push from Spargo, unrelenting. You get back on the stage, the flash and the up smash. That's a hell of a parry. That yeah. is a hell of a parry to punish. 
And, I mean, ouch is known for some of these more aggressive flashes. Spargo is starting to calibrate here. The uh -oh. new Air, but Dragon that's Mountain. the is, Yes! What uh, a play! He loves going out there with that Nair. Spargo this time having it very well scouted out. And you almost knew because Yo. of the way Spargo faded back, too. Like, he dared him to come out there, and ouch took the bait. The, that's one of those perfect situations where Spargo's like, I'm going to get you because I know you're good. Yes. I know you're good. Yes. This is the standard Nair to throw out. I'm going to be... That's going to be the one that edge guards me, but Spargo fades just back a little bit. He's like, you know what? I'm going to take a trade, though. Exactly. I'm going to take that trade. Really just leveraged his stock to get a whole advantage. I mean, that was just brilliantly played on his part. Now, Alex getting no. absolutely tossed. Oh, my goodness. Spargo, yeah, please. That's, no, that's definitely dumb. The blade beam, too, to kind of corral him to where he wanted him to be off stage. That was a that, <laughs> that was a very good strike coming out from Spargo. Yes. And I, I think the adaptations have been made. But we see, we'll see here. This is a best of five, right? So yeah, it is. one apiece here. Ouch. Going to be able to have a chance to go ahead and make those adaptations back onto Spargo here. We'll see if it happens. Oh, Spargo, just a phenomenal player. When you're thinking about seeds for this tournament, uh, for sure, one or two, te one or two seed of this tournament, right? Easy. Don't even, don't even think twice about that, man. No doubt about that. And even though he is on the loser side of things, man, still absolutely being a menace. But ouch. To his credit, not here by accident. Got that first game. No reason to think he can't get another one. Definitely make this quite the contest. Yeah, and both these players so sick to watch. I want to see both of them. E. I want to see both of them in top eight, but un unfortunately, we can only get one. Yeah, I think that's called top 12, Jim. <laughs> and you get it right now. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> no, I, I understand exactly what you're yeah. saying, man. It, it, it definitely feels like both of these players are super deserving of that honor. And how could you disagree with it? I mean, it's just incredible. Right, so a little back and forth here, but Spargo is glowing blue, has a little bit more damage. The parries have been on point coming out from Spargo with these up air juggles. And that's one thing Wolf is so good at getting out of juggle situations because that Nair is so strong. But when you're going up against disjointed thing or disjointed moves like cloud up air, cloud up tilt, yeah. it becomes a little different story, you know? Oh, all right, nicely done. Forward tilt. That'll be stock number one going the way of Spargo. Ooh, the rolling, great reaction oh, coming done. out from Spargo. Yeah, and turn that around. Ooh, and then look at that, just these meaty hitboxes starting to take their toll. Love that dash attack, too. And Spargo just not, just completely re relentless when it comes to he the is. pacing. Uh, Spargo's like, all right, right now I'm cooking and I'm just going to keep upping the pace. I'm going to keep playing as fast as possible. And it feels like kind of just overwhelming out in the, this game and the last. Beautiful air dodge here, but you're still in the corner versus Spargo. Tries to go for the dash grab, but Spargo yeah. rolling right through here. Oh, you're Connecting dark. the back air and 0% right. on the second stock. Yeah, line him up. Spargo definitely feeling himself in this game. Saving the jump right there. Had the limit as well anyway, so definitely having a good little plan B. Oh, no. Ooh, Spargo, what are you doing, sir? Oh, the forward tilt doesn't connect. Wow. So close. That could have That would have been the stock. That yes. would have been the stock. Easily turned the tides and made that an even one. Oh, what a double what a double jump neutral air dodge right into the grab. I don't know what the hell is going on here. If I'm Spargo, I'm just getting off this ledge. Like, yeah, right meet there. Me, meet me in center. The forward air out of shield tries to go for the back of the parry into the down smash. Send Spargo off stage, but you're going to have limit online here soon. Hard air dodge. I like that. Oh, the back throw, though. Is it enough? I'm not sure it is. We're going to get limit off of it, however. Oh, what? Do it. Yep. Catching Spargo being a little aggressive there. I like that. So a little pump fake coming out from out, coming back out to the ground and getting the whiff punish with the forward tilt. We got an even game three here. This is absolutely nutty. Good stuff to Ouch, man. That no quit attitude serving him well. Spargo had a very strong lead and it's been kind of whittled away. Can get his hands on him. Yep, there it is right there. Ooh, I like the down tilt as well, trying yeah. to get that corner situation. But immediately, Spargo claiming center stage here, already racking up a good amount of damage. And this is where it can get really bad for Ouch here. Spargo just gets that center stage and makes you pay on this cloud. Ooh, aggressive. Uh -oh. Almost connects the forward air, the down smash. Great punish. The limit is still online, though. You got to watch out. Just fading back here, respecting the limit. Ooh, oh, no, tries to go like for the this. ledge drop. There's the parry. Big parry. Offstage situation, though, can Ouch make it back, gets onto the ledge. The dash tech, oh, if that backer connected, that could have been it. Oh, this is so scary. I mean, down to the wire between these two. Oh, oh wow. That fact he threw out that backer there is insane. But the limit's on the oh, line. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. And, and I like how we both knew it. We both knew it. Spargo with the reaction time to punish. That sucked, optimally. too. That sucked, too, because 
as as uh, Ouch was picking the ledge option, yeah. that's when the limit popped. And usually when you when you're being ledge trapped against a cloud, you don't want to roll or normal get it because they can just react out of shield Definitely. with the uh, limit up B there. So, man, that that was a uh, that was a tough break for Ouch because as Ouch is rolling, he's like Bing, and then <laughs> it's like, well, dang, man, <laughs> not the Bing, ma, Bings. I mean, they're giving us a hell of a set right there. You see, that was a really close game three, man. That's to the Mexican flag being flown right there. You already know Spar Goat in the building. That he is, man. Definitely playing like a goat right now. Really giving Ouch everything he can handle. But Ouch fighting back too, man. He is relentless as well. Not making this easy at all for Spargo, who is up two games right now. One more to put Ouch away and get himself a spot in that top eight. Something that everybody was just assuming he would be a shoo-in for, man. But Ouch, perhaps this dark wolf, if you will, coming out of nowhere to thwart what everybody assumes is just a given. Oh, yeah. And I mean... A sp that, that game two is like, man, I don't know. And then, you know, Ouch came back fighting this game number three. But here comes Spargo, only at 61% and very impressive here, able to take that stock so early with that limit. Oh, the getup attack, man, that back air could have connected, could have been big trouble for Spargo. Great ledge option here, the platform tech chase. The back air was so close to connecting, though. The parry, the nair, the tech chase, uh -oh. great roll away. Amazing defense, but Ouch wow. finds the back air at, at the end of all of it. Ouch is nuts, man. He's just like, at no point does this kid not think he can get the job done, and rightfully so. Absolutely cook Spargo in that interaction. Okay, a bit of footsie here, but Spargo is the one with the lead, is going to, again, claim center stage. Spargo is so good at playing Cloud at that center stage position, really pushing the corner and not letting you get back on the center stage and you just it feels like ouch takes so much damage just trying to get back to the pokeball that's okay get the oh there's oh, the aggressive no, and oh no way. Spargo, you're all right bro playing for okay, the clip okay. right now in that time playing for the set because he goes for the up smash that is very laggy but it is uh, it, it looked like ouch was barely able to put up the shield just in time here so again spargo has that stock lead here not too much damage but ouch firing back the double jump gets burned neutral air dodge Gonna cash out with some of the damage Ooh, here, extending up, off of it as well. Ooh, that was nasty, just so smooth with it. And I think, tilt. I don't know, man. It's looking a little grim right now for Ouch. Oh, but wait a minute. Wow, that back air almost got the KO, the sweet spot. Not gonna connect the directional air dodge with the forward tilt here. Can you get the two frame? Beautiful recovery coming out from Spargo, not giving uh -oh. him any openings. The back throw is gonna give the limit. Or soon to be there of. Uh oh. Don't let it be you. Oh, tried to get the up tilt, but rolling away the... Okay, the dash tag's enough, and it gets rid of the limit. Two for one special. He knows what he's doing, man. And there's a combination. Oh, this is big for Ouch. Grab. Oh, man, I thought he was going to go for a grab. Oh, don't get back aired here. Ouch, able to get back on the stage, but gets back aired nonetheless. Double forward air here. Another one, stacking it up. The punish here, forward throw. Great DI up there, so... Gonna avoid the tech chase. Oh, try to get oh, the deep we... back air. Oh, but you're up against That's Lemon Cloud on stage, and Spargo just pulls the reverse Uno. I wish that we had the player camp because as soon as he took that one dash, before he even let the limits slash, he took off his headset like, yeah, that's it. Oh. The confidence from Dang. this game. The confidence, Charles. Amazing stuff coming out from Spargo, but honestly, an incredible run for Ouch here, finishing at ninth place here at Genesis 9. And But Spargo was able to, even though getting closed out by Sonic in winners, was able to get into top eight via loser side. Now, we got one hell of a top eight line.